Lesson 25 homework. Number one, draw a tape diagram and a number line to solve. Fill in the blanks that follow. So let's draw our tape diagram. And we have three and we're splitting it into thirds. So our number line, we have three. I'm gonna split it into three equal pieces. So there's one, two, three. And then we're gonna break these into thirds. So break that one into thirds, this one into thirds, and the last one into thirds. So now we can see that we wanna know how many, there are blank thirds in one hole. So here is one hole. So there's one, two, three thirds in one hole. There are how many thirds in three holes? Well, there's three groups of it. So we have three groups of three, or we could count up the thirds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine thirds in three holes. If three is one third, what is the whole? So that's like saying, you have something and it's split into thirds and three is one third, then the rest would all add up to equal nine. So nine would be the whole. And three divided by one third is nine. Number, or letter B, three divided by one fourth. I'm gonna draw our tape diagram Again, we're working with three. So the whole thing, our number line is going to be three. Let's, let's split it into thirds. So here's one, two, three. And this time we're dividing into fourths. So I'm gonna split everything into fourths. So that one's split into fourths. That one's in fourths and fourths. So th there are how many fourths in one hole? Well, one, two, three, four fourths in one hole. There are how many fourths in, let's see, we wanna know three holes. So there are how many fourths in three holes? Well, if there's four fourths in one hole, then another, that would be eight. And this would make 12, so there are 12 fourths in three holes. And if three is one fourth, so like what we did above, if three is a fourth of something, then the whole, if we filled those in, the whole, everything adds up to 12. So three divided by one fourth is 12. Four divided by one third. Our tape diagram. I'm gonna split it. Let's see, the whole thing is four. So I'll split it into four equal pieces. And now I'm going to divide. So we have four divided by thirds. So that means. I break these into thirds. I'll go ahead and label those. So this was one, two, three, four. So everything's broken into thirds. So we have, there are how many thirds in one hole? Well, here's one hole. So there are th three thirds in one hole. How many thirds are in, we wanna know four holes. So in four holes, we'd have three, six, nine, 12. So there are 12 thirds in four holes. So if four is equal to one third, so 
So 4 is equal to a third of something. If I filled in the rest, the entire thing is equal to 12. So 4 divided into thirds is equal to 12. And D, 5 divided by 1 fourth. So the whole thing is equal to 5. So I'm going to split it into fifths here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're breaking those into fourths. So there are how many fourths in one whole? Well, one whole, there will be four fourths. How many fourths are in five holes? Well, there's four in the first one, four in the next one, so that makes eight. Four more would be 12, four more is 16, and four more would be 20 fourths. So if five is one fourth, so 5 is equal to 1 fourth of a whole. Then if we filled in the rest, we would have 20. So 5 divided by 1 fourth is equal to 20. Number 2, divide, then multiply to check. So 2 divided by 1 fourth. So we can draw a tape diagram. So we have 2, and if I split that into fourths, I have eight different pieces, so it's equal to eight. And it wants us to multiply it, check, so we can do one-fourth times eight would be equal to eight-fourths or two. So that works. Six divided by one-half. So the whole thing is 6, so I'm going to split it into 6, and we're dividing that into halves. So total, we have 12 pieces. 6 divided into halves is equal to 12. If we wanted to check, we can do... 1 half times 12, that's equal to 12 halves, or 6. Now, another way to do it without using the tape diagram is we can simply just multiply the whole number times the denominator. So we can just do 5 times 4, and that's equal to 20. And if we want to check, we can do 1 fourth times 20, that's equal to 20 fourths, or 5. So we can just do 5 times, if it's 1 eighth, we're going to multiply it by 8, is 40. And 1 eighth times 40 is 40 eighths, or 5. Now if it helps you to draw the tape diagrams, just keep drawing the tape diagrams. The picture helps. 6 divided by 1 third, so we can do 6 times 3, oops, 6 times 3 is equal to 18, or 1 third times 18 is equal to 18 thirds, which is 6. 3 divided by 1 sixth, we can do 3 times 6 equals 18, and then our check would be 1 sixth times 18 it's equal to 18 sixths. 18 sixths is equal to 3. 6 divided by 1 fifth. 6 times 5 equals 30. And 1 fifth times 30 will be equal to 30 fifths. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. And the last one, 6 divided by 1 tenth. We do 6 times 10 equals 60. Or 1 tenth times 60 equals 60 tenths, which is equal to 6. Number 3, 
A principal orders eight sub sandwiches for a teacher's meeting. She cuts the subs into thirds and puts the mini subs onto a tray. How many mini subs are on the tray? So let's draw a picture. She orders eight subs and she cuts each one into thirds. So I'm going to draw the eight subs. Okay, so she has eight subs and she cuts each one into thirds. So let's do that. and puts the mini subs onto a tray. So how many mini subs do we have? Well, in one, that would be equal to three mini subs. So one sub is equal to three mini subs. If we have eight of them, we can just do three times the eight full subs would give us 24 mini subs. And number four. Some students prepare three different snacks. They make one eighth pound bag, bags of nut mix, one fourth pound bags of cherries, and one sixth pound bags of dried fruit. If they buy three pounds of nut mix, five pounds of cherries, and four pounds of dried fruit, how much of each type of snack bag will they be able to make? Okay, so let's start with the nut mix. So they make one eighth pound bags and they buy three pounds. So they're taking that three pounds and splitting it into one eighth pound bags. So that would be three times eight. So they can make 24 bags of nut mix. Let's do cherries. So they make one fourth pound bags of cherries and they bought five pounds. So five pounds divided by the one fourth pound bags would be equal to five times four or 20. So they can make 20 bags of cherries. And lastly, we have the dried fruit. So one six pound bags of dried fruit and they have four pounds of it. So four pounds divided by one sixth pound bags, that would be equal to four times six or 24 bags of dried fruit.